name is Joe DeFranco, and I built DeFranco's gym with one thing in mind, and that is to bring out the very best in every single athlete that walks through these doors. Using the latest scientific research and an insane atmosphere, my staff and I are able to help any athlete achieve their goals. Now, for the first time ever, we're opening up the garage doors and we're giving you a behind the scenes look at what goes down at one of America's best gyms. Welcome to DeFranco's Uncensored, where our athletes are driven beyond strength. It was a great day. I was feeling, feeling really good. Caught the ball. Guy came, hit my knee only, and I went down. I didn't realize the severity of it then. My knee almost burned. It felt like somebody shot me in the leg. I felt like I was doing so well, and I had, I had worked so hard. You gotta tell yourself you're gonna get better. When you think negative, you gotta say, I'm gonna be good, I'm, I'm gonna do well, I'm gonna prosper. We have to set these goals every day, every week, every month. I believe that I'm, I'm gonna be in camp. I believe it, I believe that I'm gonna be on a team. I believe that I'm gonna be playing really soon. Whatever the circumstances may be, I, I, I feel like I can succeed. I'll be in here working out and I'm thinking about a run or I'm thinking about how, to, how I'm going to attack two defenders when the time comes. I could be here in a body, in the flesh, but I'm also thinking about how well I'm going to do this season. My dad put a football in my hand when I was little. You know, this is, this is the only thing I wanted. I have a passion about it. I love playing. You should be fearful of a man who dreams with his eyes open, because I want it that bad. After that play, I didn't know what happened. I got up, walked up the field. I went in the locker room and just cried. People always say for every setback is the opportunity for a great comeback. At the Franco's, man, I met a lot of great people starting with Joe. Being injured, I had to learn how to, you know, take work hard being hurt. I had to do small, tedious exercises that was so nothing before, and, I, and that was just so new to me. The biggest part about Joe was the atmosphere and the athletes in this gym. My mindset when I train is I want to work hard so it'll pay off when the season comes. Kareem is definitely one of the kids I'm most proud of. You won't find a nicer kid. You won't find a kid that works harder and wants it more than Kareem. We're always in here competing and it's always a competitive environment and, and, and naturally we're getting better. To watch him come in here from you know a kid that was limping around to wondering if he's gonna get another shot and can I get my knee back? Will I ever get the, the speed and the strength back that I once had? And then watch him with all pro caliber NFL players that are there and not only hang with them, but you know, be the top guy in a lot of things we're doing is I, I'm just so happy for him. It, it, it goes to show you that hard work does pay off. From Joe seeing where I was and affecting how I look now, I, I'm 10 times better. I, I run faster. I'm, like I said, I'm a lot stronger, and you know I'm doing things. I'm doing things I couldn't do, but I'm doing things beyond. You look at Cream, and obviously you could see his physical strength and, and his physical appearance. But his his true, his biggest attribute is his his mental toughness, his mental strength, his faith.
I got hurt, and I just, I'm just going to show you how powerful God is. Like, you know, just I'm, I'm going to get on the field, and I'm going to come back. And when I score a touchdown, I'm just, you know, just I might even tear up. To come in here every day and train and work as hard as he works and to stay positive when you don't really know, are you going to get a call? You're not going to get a call. Can this be it? That's a very, very difficult thing to do. And, and a lot of athletes in that same position probably would have, would have hung it up by now. Staying positive was very hard, but my mom, who's a, a, very, a very good woman, is, she, she allowed me to stay positive. And she, you know, and anytime I thought something negative in my head, I never spoke it. You know, I, I, she always told me to speak things into, into existence. So when I, whenever I thought about something that was negative, I just spoke positive things to, to, stay, to stay on track, to stay good. I can't speak highly enough about his, his mental toughness and, and his attitude when he comes in here each day. Super positive, works out, you know, as hard as he's ever worked out and, uh, you know, has the faith and, and the belief that he will get another opportunity. Joe is a blessing. Like, I've gotten stronger, I've gotten bigger, I've gotten faster. I've been working out here and I have a bunch of people behind me who believe in me. When you get down and you're amongst people, you have that back and they'll be like, Yo, you're going to be good. Don't worry about it. Don't think about it. Keep going. I'm not saying that I worry, but I'm human. I hurt my knee. I had a, a bunch of surgeries, but now I'm back stronger, and now I'm back better. I like to think of it in a positive fashion. I hate the fact that, that he had to go through it, but he did. He stayed positive. He made the most out of it, and hopefully, you know, we're talking about the great comeback story within the uh, next couple months or years. I progressively got gotten better and gotten stronger, and back to where I'm running faster. I'm a lot explosive, and I'm stronger. I really hope people who gotten hurt or whoever chasing their dream at any point, any time of situation, just to, you know, kind of see my story and just to see, like, how, how powerful God is. All it's going to take is <laughs> somebody to say, well, yeah, we want this kid. You hope that good things happen to good people. I just keep my fingers crossed that he's going to get a shot because if he does, he will make an NFL team better. As long as God keeps this passion in me to want to play, I refuse to lose and I refuse to be stopped. I can't sit here and tell you what, what's going to happen in the future because I don't want to put a limit on it. As humble as I want to say, but I feel like a monster. I feel like a monster. I want to be a big name guy, you know, I want to be a, a guy that does well and, and produces. I just pray, you know, that I be somewhere on a on a roster helping that team win. Next time on Driven Beyond Strength. How you doozing? I'm EA all day. Let me tell you something right now, you little chicharoon. You asked me in the fourth grade what I want to be, I'm telling you I want to be a pro wrestler. There's nothing I can see myself doing in this world that would make me more happy. The realest gym in the world is the Franco's gym and the realest guy in the room is telling you that. I never take myself seriously and, and when I'm in this gym, I try to keep a light atmosphere and, and get after it in the same sense. Keep doing what you're doing, be the best every single day and eventually those days are gonna add up. The only time success comes before work is in the dictionary, you know, so you gotta work at it. Keep it classy, go punch yourself.